Hello and welcome again from Shushankar Dyal from libreprogramming.org and uh, in this part I'll tell you about a new feature which was introduced in C99 that is variable length arrays. If you see old code in uh, many books they will define a macro like this hash define max maybe 10 maybe 100 max maybe something else and then they will say a max within brackets and they may initialize to some value I have initialized to 0 you may initialize to 1 to 100 so it depends now a better way to initialize is you declare a variable const int maximum and then you initialize the array the restriction is that you cannot initialize it why because max at compile time will be replaced but this maximum will come into existence only when the program will run so the actual size of array b will not be known at compile time therefore you cannot initialize it but even this maximum is a global variable and by the very look we know that uh, okay this is the maximum limit but what if we want user to control the length of array how to do that the way to do that is you declare an integer n and then you take that input from user and then you declare an array of that length so this is in turn uh, what you would say is user um, length is controlled at runtime so kind of uh, truly variable uh, array you can change its length at runtime so uh, these are three ways uh, rather two ways in which you can declare uh, variable length arrays now this is outdated outdated you should not use it should not use it I have explained why you should not use it because it does not go in the symbol list max will not go in the symbol list at the time of pre-processing it will get replaced for example if you want to see that I can show you so if you say GCC minus uh, std is equal to c99 minus e where array dot c by plus so let's go at the bottom now see here you don't have 100 now obviously you will see the macro okay I, I, no no you won't even see the macro the macro is gone macros are ripped out so you won't even see the macro now you don't you, it's a magic number you don't know what this 100 is it might hold some significance <clears throat> for example in this menu edit menu you have got uh, six items so this may refer to number of items in edit menu this hundred so it may refer to number of items in this menu it may refer to number of tabs in the terminal so this magic number does not tell you the context that what it refers to that is why never ever use macros to declare your symbolic constant for an array always use like this you will uh, say that okay we cannot initialize it but then you can initialize it later here for int i is equal to 0 semicolon i less than um, maximum semicolon i plus plus b i is equal to whatever value you want to put now this is less efficient than this initialization but still it is a much better piece of code as far as ethics are concerned ethics of programming as I would say it so that's it for now in variable length array demos see you in uh, our next part where I'll tell you about uh, addition of uh, binary numbers I remember I have told you about addition of binary numbers which are integers now i'll tell you about addition of those binary numbers which are floating points it is somewhat different but you will see it's fun nonetheless thanks for watching the video and uh, keep visiting libdeprogramming.org for more material on programming and mathematics 
and related stuff. Thanks.